baby robot was very excited. She was going to the toy hospital with Michael and his mother to get her antenna fixed. But more importantly, she was going outside. Hurry up, Squeaky. You don't want to be late. Will I see any lions and tigers on my way to the toy hospital? Mm, I don't think so, Squeaky. Ah, oh. what about polar bears? You're going to the toy hospital, not the zoo, Squeaky. Oh. Diesel, you'll go there on the bus, though. Oh, goody. What's a bus? Oh, wow. It's a monster truck, bigger than me, with a great big engine, and it goes racing up and down the road, honking its horn. Rum, 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 I love buses. <laughs> hey, where's Squeaky gone? Huh? Was it something I said? We'd better go and see Johnson. Why did you mention the bus? That was a silly thing to do. Uh, Macduff mentioned it first. Yeah, but Diesel told her all about it. What, what's the big deal about going on a bus anyway? It never scares me. Squeaky hasn't been on a bus before. That's why she's frightened. Oh, oh. but she's got to get her antenna fixed, Johnson. Then we'll have to show her that buses aren't frightening. How will we do that? We'll build a toy bus in the bedroom and take her on a bus trip. <gasps> a oh, toy wow. Bus. That will be fun. <laughs> yeah, and I bag being the motor. A little while later, a duff and squeaky waited at the bus stop for the bedroom bus. I'm still a little bit scared about going on the bus, McDuff. But it's just a pretend bus, squeaky. It never leaves the bedroom, and if you don't like it, you don't have to travel on the real bus. What do you say? Uh, okay. Where is the bus, McDuff? Well, first of all, we have to wait at the bus stop. Why? Well, that's what bus passengers do, Squeaky. They wait and wait at the bus stop for a long, long time, and when they finally get really bored, the bus comes. Oh! <laughs> oh! Here it is now! Oh. Stopping! <laughs> Hello, passengers! <laughs> does this bus go to the toy hospital driver? It certainly does. This bus stops right outside at bus stop one. <laughs> Squeaky has to go there to have her antenna fixed, but she's never been on a bus before. Then she should travel on this bus. <laughs> it's never been a bus before. <laughs> <laughs> now, hop on. <laughs> there are plenty of seats. <laughs> Off you go. Thank you, bus driver. My pleasure, Squeaky. Oh, hello, motor. Hello, robot. You're a big motor, aren't you? <laughs> this is a very big bus. <laughs> Mind the step. Oh, McDuff, I like this bus. <laughs> oh, look, here's a window seat. If you sit down there, you can see everything as we go down the road. Oh, will I see a lion? Probably not, Squeaky. You never know your luck. <laughs> Everyone sitting down? Yes. Yes. Yep. Good. I'm closing the bus door. <laughs> I'm starting the bus motor. <laughs> and I'm going to turn onto the road. <laughs> Here we go. We're up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look out, here comes some potholes! <laughs> this is fun, isn't it, Squeaky? It's a very friendly bus. Unfortunately, Squeaky spoke too soon. Fast, please! Fast, please! Oh, here's another pothole! <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? How can I be a bus conductor with all this jiggling about? What's a bus conductor? Oh, a bus conductor, little robot, collects the fares 
from the passengers and gives them a ticket. Oh. Now, where are you off to? I'm off to the toy hospital because my antenna's broken. Oh. Well, maybe you should have gone by the toy ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, driver. You may resume your journey. <laughs> Good. Oh, shut up! 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 Oh,